My name is Kaya. True fact, I love grapes. Anybody want one? <laughs> Welcome to my channel, guys. If you're new, if you're not new, what's up? You already know what it is. I am back again with another video. In today's video, as you can tell from the title, it is a wig review. This is the wig that I will be reviewing. I don't know if I've tried the Motown Tress brand. I don't think that I have. This is my first time ever trying it. So I'm really excited for it. And I'm really excited for the style. If you can see the style, it's like a side part, but it's really like deep waves type of hair. This is the Motown Tress Let's Lace Wig Deep Part Lace wig with a four inch deep part lace the finish finishing length of it is 17 inches this wig is in the style ldp dash fenty like fenty beauty speak speaking of fenty i do have a fenty um beauty review for my channel put the link below right here at the top as well Try, check it out check it out and this is in the color mf4 slash 3027 so i'll put all the information below so you guys can know you know which wig it is so I'm going to go ahead and pop this baby open so we can go ahead and get it placed on my head. Pause. If you aren't already and you are returning back to my channel or if you're new, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it, guys. We'll go ahead and give you a little five second break. All right, so you should have went ahead and clicked subscribe by now. So thank you for thank you for doing that if you did and also like the video as well. This is how the wig is looking right now. I did go ahead and cut the lace off of the front. So it does have lace that's on it that if you get it, you will have to cut that off. It's how it's showing is how it will sit on your head. So it is going to be a part. There are two combs in the front as well as one in the back. How it is is the part is on the right hand side so the part cannot be adjusted you cannot even wear it over to the left hand side because it's going to make your wig look lopsided the way the wig is made is already specifically made for your part to be on your right hand side so if you like for your parts to be over to the left i don't know if this wig might be for you but you might be versatile as to how you like to wear your hair so if you like it on the right hand side or left hand side then you're good to go me personally i like for my parts to be on the left hand side but looking at this wig right now like looking at myself in the mirror after i just put it on i like it on the right so i might have to you know start wearing it on the right sometimes instead of just the left because i like how it looks on the right so as we can see from right now the part I mean, of course, you can see where the part is supposed to be, but it isn't visible, which I'm not mad at, but I do want to do just a little bit of maintenance to the part. Um, the reason I want to do some maintenance to the part is because it looks too wiggy with it not being like with something not being done to it. So I'm going to have to work on that and see what I want to do to the part. I'm probably going to do it off camera and then come back and let you guys know what I did because right now I have to think about it on what I want to do for my part. I did widen it just a little bit and then I added a little bit of concealer so you can see it. I might do a little bit more but I didn't want to OD it because I was just like, uh, you know, I want to have time to play with it. So, um, but as far as quality, it's good. Like from first impression, it's really good. There are no tangles. There's no shedding. I've been finger combing it and no hair is coming out at all. Once I pull on it, nothing. So Motown dress, I like that. I like that with this wig. No shedding happening at all. Um, I've never tried a color like this, like this, this light brown. I'm really digging this color. I love that it's so, it's like an ash brown, but not too ashy. It's a lighter brown. I wish you guys could see it in person even more. I do feel like the camera's picking up the color, but in person, it's like pretty close to my skin tone. Like it's not that far from my skin tone. And I like how long it is. So on, it's showing from what the packaging says this is 17 inches um i'm 5'7 so it might not look 17 inches on me i don't really know what length this is because i kind of feel like it's a little bit shorter than 17 because i've had 18 inch hair and i thought it was longer than this 
it's been a minute since I bought weave. I've been doing like wigs and my hair lately, so I'm not quite sure, but I like the length of it. I feel like this is summer appropriate. So this is something you could definitely wear in the summer and not get too hot, you know what I'm saying? It's also definitely big head friendly. Um, it's sitting on my head very well. It can be adjusted. It can honestly be just a tad bit tighter. I don't want it to be too tight because that'll possibly give me a headache, but it fits really nice if you are on the bigger head side yeah it has adjustable straps I forgot to look at them but I can feel them back here so you can adjust it and make it tighter if you need to so that's a plus I really like when you can adjust the the sizing and fit of your cap so how the combs are in the wig the combs are right next to the parting so the comb is sitting right here and right here which I find to be very helpful the reason I say that is because with your your combs it's where your part is and you can make sure that that's where your wig will stay placed the time being that you wear it I would definitely say you could wear got to be glued with this as well but the way this feels on my head right now I really don't feel like I need any glue but you know if you're going somewhere and you don't know what you might be doing or getting into you might want to wear some just to be sure that you know your wig don't fly off your head let me show you guys what the back of it looks like it definitely has a lot of body. You can also like re-up your curls because it is um, flat iron safe. You can use it from like up to, it was like 350 to 400 degrees. This wig also comes in a bunch of other colors y'all. So if you're not digging the brown, you have options. I will let you guys know how much I purchased the wig for. This wig on divatress.com is $29.95. Definitely think it's worth the price. And I say that because this is a really good quality wig. You could just tell from feeling it before you even put it on your head. And by looking at it, it literally looks like some good hair. It feels like good hair. It's not too shiny. It's not too dull. It's the perfect texture. It's like right in between soft and like medium. It's not super soft, but it's not hard at all. All together, all in all, I really do think that this is a really, really, really good wig times three. The reason I say it's a good one is because it just, it's, it's cheap for one. $29.95, $30. This is a really good wig for $30. Like you get body, you get good color, you get a style, like you get the waves. You you get a lot in this wig to only spend $30. So I think it's a really, really, really good wig and I think it's worth it. And if you haven't tried Motown Trust, you definitely should because this wig is sha popping, okay? The only like con, which really isn't a con to me of, of the wig is that it's only a right side wig, right side part wig like you can't wear it to the left but that would be like the same thing as if you had a part a wig that was just like straight down the middle and you want to wear it to the side and can't but you know I don't think that's a bad thing because it gives you like one simple style to wear like if you know that you want something that's wavy and shorter and one right side part you know what wig to go to you know so I don't think it's a bad thing I think it's a really good wig but I think she's popping I really like her and I think you guys should try it so I'm gonna put all the information below so you can definitely check it out and get you one as well but guys I really do hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you leave a huge thumbs up as well as comment below like I always say and before you leave please subscribe to my channel I would really appreciate it guys thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys